Hi everyone. In this video, I will show how to add user to MS Teams using PowerShell and a CSV file. You can always add users to a team from a Teams admin page, or you can use a CSV file. It is totally up to you. It depends on which way makes more sense to you. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use a CSV file. So you need to create a CSV file and I have it here. I have email and role. So under email, add email address of all your users that you're going to add to this, to that specific teams and indicate the roles. In this case, this user is going to be a member. You can also have another role that can be an owner. So we have two types, member and owner. In this example, this user is going to be a member. I save my CSV file on the desktop and I'm going to connect to Microsoft Teams admin page. I've saved my CSV file on the desktop and I'm connected to Microsoft Teams admin center. If you don't know how to connect Microsoft Teams admin center, I'm going to include a link to my video in the description. Please take a look at it. I'm connected. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the group ID of the teams that I'm going to add this user. There are two ways that you can do. You can either type get dash team and here PowerShell will uh, display uh, any teams that I have in my tenant and a group ID. And you can see it's a public and there's a nickname for that and everything that you can, they can have will be displayed for you. But let's say you have 20 or 30 teams in your tenant Maybe this will won't work for you because you don't want to create a huge list of teams and then you have to go through them and find the group ID for that specific team. There is another way that you can do and it's to get the group ID of that specific team and you can do it this way. So first I'm going to use get dash team and I'm going to say where So I'm going to use display name management. And I got the group ID for that specific uh, team. You can use this command to get uh, the group ID. Like I said, if you have uh, more than one or two or even 10 teams in your tenant, it doesn't make sense to use get team. Use this command so you get the group ID of that specific team in, in a clear and better way. So once we have the group ID now, I have to import my CSV file to this teams. And here's the command for that. You can use different command to import CSV file to, to teams. I've been using this uh, command and it's been working out for me. If you know any other commands, you can put it in a common area so other users or viewer can uh, use them. But this is what I'm going to use. And before I start importing my user, I'm going to go to this team. As you can see, I'm going to import a user to management team. And there's only one person and the role is owner. I'm going to add the second person or user to this team. So first, I'm going to import the CSV file. I'm going to start with that. And here's my CSV file user that I want to say for each. I'm going to grab the group ID from here. User is going to be from the email and then the role, if you indicate role in your CSV file, you can just add, uh, for example, member here. But if you have role in, in your CSV file, you can use, I'm sorry, the column in your CSV file, you can use again, dollar sign underscore role, and you can use this, I press enter. If you don't get error message, I mean that it went through. So now I'm going to go to my team here. I noticed it takes time. So far, I don't have anyone here. I'm going to refresh the page. Like I said, it takes time. So I'll wait a little bit more longer. 
there you go we have our user here the role is member the way that we ind indicated in in our csv file yeah that's how you can add users or in this case a user with with a csv file using powershell let me know if you have any question see you all next time